Hey, this is Manny Fresh with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to back up your iPhone, iPad, or iPod with the newest Mac OS, which is Mac OS Catalina. So I just went ahead and upgraded, and I noticed that iTunes was no longer available, and that's because Apple decided to remove iTunes completely so now the functionality is a little bit different so in this video I'm just going to show you what you need to do to back up your iPhone uh, first things first you need to plug in your phone make sure it's a lightning cable and trust the device when it asks you to and then go ahead and open finder and when you open finder you're going to notice on the locations once you plug in the phone it's going to list your device and it's gonna recognize it automatically, but make sure you trust the device first on the screen once you plug it in, if it's the first time doing it. So once you connect your device, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and go on Finder and open and click on the device name. In this case, I have an iPhone XR. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open and click there. On this screen, you're going to see everything about your phone. You're going to see it's similar like how it used to look in iTunes, but now it's all embedded in the operating system. What you want to worry about here is where it says backups. There's two ways to back up your data. You could back it up to iCloud and it goes to the account that you have logged in on your MacBook. Uh, with your Apple ID so that's where all the data goes to if you decide to use that method for the sake of this video I'm just gonna back it up locally to my MacBook Pro so I'm gonna select back up all the data on your phone to this Mac and then there's an option to encrypt the local backup if you select that, it's gonna ask you for a password. You could give it a password and basically protects your data. So anybody trying to steal your data, they won't be able to restore that data unless they know the password, which is a good security thing to add if you're looking to do that. But in this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and eliminate that and cancel it. So once you decide what you wanna do, then you click on manage backups and this will show you any backups that you've done in the past if you have done anything it's going to be empty and then now you're ready to go ahead and click on backup now and this is just prompting you to encrypt your backup just to give you extra security and again i'm just going to put do not encrypt all right so what you're going to notice on the left side where it says iphone you're going to see a at first a spinning um, circle arrow looking thing and then it's going to convert into a a circular time lapse circle basically so once that process finish then right where it says manage backups and backup now all of those buttons are going to come back to life so i'm just going to speed up the video and then i'm going to show you what to do next All right, so once the backup finishes and you're gonna see the screen available. And from here, you could go ahead and see on the backups, it tells you the date when you last back up. And you could go ahead and actually click on manage backups just to make sure and confirm that the backup finished. If you see an entry like that, that means that is completed and you could delete it if you don't need it uh, but after you're done just go ahead and click OK and I'm gonna make a video showing you how to restore from that backup okay well I hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and please subscribe to